Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your weekend tarot for the 11th and the 12th post-apocalyptic <laughs> eclipse weekend tarot. Woof. Okay, full moon, lunar eclipsing, cancer energies sloshing around. We're going to have a look in the herbal tarot, see what we need to see. Let's do a big girl shuffle. Woof. Oh, I love my card. The lovers, the lovers. With their bits covered in parsley. <laughs> I have to show you now. Oh, do you remember that one? Look at his haircut as well. Tremendous. It's, yeah. It's got 1970s written all over it. The lovers. The lovers. Wow. Okay. Three major arcana out of three. What would we expect? Whew. Four major arcana out of four. Gosh. It's becoming hard to shuffle, that one. Oh, my God. Five major arcana out of five. Now I'm paying attention. <sighs> Holy moly. No, it's not you. Well, that's some um, spiritual big jobs, isn't it? Gosh. Six major arcana out of six. This is a really well shuffled tarot pack. God. Okay. We're paying attention. It makes sense, doesn't it, for where we're at. It totally does make sense, but crumbs. 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 Yes. Seven major arcana out of seven. <laughs> okay. Gemstone Tarot is actually speechless. I'll just literally go through them first. High Priest or the Hierophant. The Lovers. Covered in parsley. The High Priestess. So we have the masculine and the feminine elements there. The Hanged Man, or the Suspended Person, as it is in this one. The Tower, or a big bulb of garlic. The Fool. What was the herb for that? Ginseng! Of course it's ginseng. It's like, yeah, baby, a bit of ginseng. Gin sing a ling a ding dong. And the devil. <laughs> okay. We may have a random love reading coming. I'm not so sure. Check out my pick a card readings. They'll be in the description box. There may be something in there for you. This is really, 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 really spiritual big jobs. Really spiritual big jobs. We've got some tricky energy, um, like the devil, of course. Labelia. Um, but we have the tower as well. It's the devil energy that kind of leads to the tower. And it's the hanged man energy that leads us to ignore the red flags that the tower has been provoking but we're in this eclipse energy and lunar eclipse energy is sometimes unavoidably volatile not necessarily in a scary way because we've got the lovers we've got the high priestess the high priest we've got the fool there's tons of wisdom but there's also quite a lot of mystery here quite a lot of mystery we are going to be need to be on our spiritual game with the high priestess okay the truths are internal and moon driven and mysterious and nebulous and head scratchy 
the lovers, there are going to be choices to make and it may be in romance or love. But either way, the lovers used to be called the choice. And whenever we get this card, there is some element of sacrifice and underneath it, we've got the tower. So shocks and revelations and seismic shifts and decisions. And I guess when you've got the devil, that some of these are rooted in what we would consider to be passion. And some of it is actually, if we look behind the curtain, perhaps more to do with our shadow side we're certainly going to be challenged there's so much major arcana that i hardly know what to say the hanged man energy here doesn't feel like we're stuck it feels like the water balloon bursting okay so it may have been stuck but it's moving but it's moving, it's moving in quite mysterious ways. I think the best way to deal with this, the best way to deal with the choice part, with the lover's part, is to be the fool, zero. Optimism, radical acceptance, meeting things where they are. If I try to make too much of an easy story out of this, it doesn't do justice to the fact there are seven cards on the table and there are seven major arcana. That isn't an easy ride, but it's also very, very highly charged and probably to do with a lot more than just a daily or weekend reading, okay? But you already know that. Okay. Let's have a look at Brian and Wendy Fruit, Heart of the Fairy Oracle. I don't want that one actually. Some people talk so loudly on their mobile phones, don't they? I don't know if you can hear that. It's the guy going down the street, so loud. Wow. Just wow. Some, okay. Sometimes you just don't know. I don't know. I'm speechless. There you go. You're witnessing me being speechless. I'm not normally speechless. The remembrance. And the shadow of the past. It's a very shadowy thing. This is shadow sides. This is ghosting. This is people who we've lost. This is lost lives. And I don't necessarily just mean bereavement. Um, when you've got the devil card, it's about the, 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 the <laughs> I can't even speak. If you think of it like we were talking the other day in terms of the patterns that form on the windows when we were talking and we were looking in the, um, what do you call it, book? I can't even remember the name of it now. That book that I haven't bought one for for, two, for 2020, the Almanac. We were looking in that and it was talking about how Frost has these certain patterns on windows. And I feel like, especially with that card, you know, there's this pattern of roots and we all have, I think, a pattern of roots. And it feels like how our roots were fixed. It feels like that. And they may be shifting and moving. We also have the hero, which is masculine and feminine at the same time. I actually really like that energy, that kind of heroic energy. It feels like some kind of difficult reconciliation of things. Please leave me a comment about this reading. Help me out. If nothing else, help me out. Whew. Do you know what? This is something I do all the time, okay? This is my, I suppose, job, right? My name is Gemma and I am a professional tarot reader. It sounds really strange to say it. But I am endlessly shocked and surprised 
at what comes up and how I know it's going to come up sometimes and I don't understand that part of things and I just you know I'm going to put that out there it it kind of gives me goosebumps I've got my moon in Capricorn so it also kind of scares me and I don't know what to say but I knew this card was coming up it's the only love card in the entire deck of uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms um, Colette Baron Reed and I just know and I don't know why I know and I don't even know what that means but you know you're my subscribers so you're on the journey so I'm just putting it out there okay the sacred union and just letting you know that I knew it would be that one and I don't know what that means what a day what a reading oh my god okay oh <laughs> this one's been chewed <laughs> when i used to have a crystal ball which i still have but when on a sunny day the sun used to shine through the crystal ball and set fire to my tarot cards <laughs> which was not good in terms of professional health and safety um so yeah it it set fire to my doreen virtue cards manifestation I have to tell you this is a really important reading and I don't know why it's really significant it's really powerful it's really strong it's really strange um, it's going to resonate with you in different ways I'm sure there will be other readings coming off it I'll probably be doing another random love reading and God knows what else but leave me a comment okay let me know and do subscribe to the channel if you're still with me you're on the journey <laughs> i'll see you soon namaste